Hello boys and girls, how are you? Today is Wednesday and today we are going to write about the story um, that we are reading this week, which is The Kite. Well, do not forget boys and girls, whenever you begin a new page, do not forget to write your name and also your last name. If you don't do it at the beginning, you can always do it at the end. But it's super important boys and girls that you remember to write your name and also your last name, alright? So, here we go. Uh, today, boys and girls, we're going to have to read pages 88 through 93. Um, it's the part where the robins made fun of the kite. Maybe you don't remember that part. It's okay. We're going to reread it again. Now, draw a cartoon. Draw frog. Make a speech bubble to show what, what, the, what he says to the robins. So that's what we're going to read now. We're going to go to page 88, uh, and we're going to read all the way to 93. So page 88, boys and girls, is actually a, um, a picture. So we cannot begin reading there. Um, we're going to begin reading over here. It says, Frog and Toad went out to fly a kite. They went to a large meadow where the wind was strong. Our kite will fly up and up, said Frog. It will fly all the way up. To the top of the sky. Toad, said Frog, I will hold the ball of string. You hold the kite and run. Hmm. Let's see what's going to happen next. Toad ran across the meadow. He ran as fast as his shore legs could carry him. The kite went up in the air. It fell to the ground with a bump. Toad heard laughter. Three robins were sitting in a bush. Oh no, the robins are making fun of Toad. Poor Toad. I, I, I bet he was feeling very, very disappointed and very, very sad. Let's see. That kite will not fly, said the robins. You may as well give up. So that's what the robin said. The robin told Toad, you know what? That guy will not fly. Just give up and go home. And poor Toad. That's what Toad is going to tell Frog. Toad ran back to Frog. Frog, said Toad, this guy will not fly. I give up. Hmm. Let's see what's going to happen next. We must make a second try, said Frog. Wave the kite over your head. Perhaps that will make it fly. So Toad is going to try something new. Besides running, he's also going to try to wave the kite um, side to side over his head. To see if it flies. Toad ran back across the meadow. He waved the kite over his head. Uh oh, let's see what's gonna happen. This is the last page that we're gonna we're gonna read before doing the workbook page. The kite went up in the air and then fell down with a thud. What a joke, said the robins. That kite will never get off the ground. Oh, they were so mean. Look at put Toad. Toad looks so sad now. After he tries so hard, the kite is still on the floor and the birds are making are still making fun of him. Now, over here, let's see um this page. Let's see what it says. It says, um, uh, we already read pages 88 through 93. And it says, the robins made fun of the kite. These are the robins. Se están burlando de kite. Now, draw a cartoon. Draw frog. Hmm, we're going to draw Make a speech bubble to show what he says to the robins. So that's what we're going to do right now. On this blank space that you have over here, we are going to draw a frog and we are going to draw the robins, right? Okay, so um, I kind of took a super quick tutorial on how to draw a frog and this is what I, um, what I got. We're going to draw a frog and then frog is going to say something to the robins and he has to say, um, something that, well, we're going to talk about that now. Let's draw frog first. Okay, so to draw frogs, I'm going to draw the eyes first. 
These are frog's eyes. And inside his eyes, I'm going to put these black dots to make his eyes come to life, right? And now I'm going to connect the two eyes with a line. And this is gonna be frog's um, face. Of course, a face needs a nose. And the frog's nose is not just like your nose, it's a different type of nose. And I'm going to draw a mouth. I'm sure your mouth is gonna come out a lot better than my mouth. Especially because you can hold the, the book with the other hand, right? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna draw one arm over here. If you know how to draw a better frog than these, of course you can do it. Okay, let me see. And now this is gonna be the frog's belly. Uh oh. The, frog, the belly had to be wider. Okay, so that's the frog's belly. Now I'm going to draw the back legs. These are his toes. Okay, so this is frog. Now the frog on the book is wearing pants and is uh, wearing a jacket. Well, this frog is kind of a real frog, right? Because real frogs don't wear a jacket that's only on fiction stories like the one that we're reading today. And real frogs don't fly kites or talk to birds. Or maybe they do. You never know. But this is frog. All right, and I'm going to draw the, the birds over here. Do you remember how many birds were there? Let me see. Let's see if I can grab the, the book really quick. Uh, let me see how many birds one two and three birds all right so we have three birds on that story and this is actually how I learned to draw birds this was a long time ago when my kids um, they started drawing I think it was one of my girls they started drawing the bird like this so these are gonna be the wings so the birds can fly you're gonna repeat again because there are three robins, three birds. Okay, that's the beak. These are the wings. And these are the legs. Okay, one more. These are the legs. Legs, legs, legs. These are the wings. They don't have to come up perfect, boys and girls. Don't forget that perfect is overrated. All right, so, boys and girls, do you think the birds were nice to Toad? No, right? The the birds were very mean. The the birds were just like, oh, just go home. Um, and that, fly, that guy will never fly. Just throw it away. Put it in the trash can. It's not going to work. So, um, do you think that's a nice behavior? No, right? That's not a nice behavior. That's not a nice way to treat other people or to treat animals. So we never do that, boys and girls. Um, a frog is a very smart frog, and I'm sure that frog is gonna tell that to the to the um, to the birds, to the robins. So we're gonna make a speech bubble. This is how you make a speech bubble. A speech bubble has to come out of um, the frog's mouth. This is a speech bubble, boys and girls. It shows that the ma the frog is the one who's talking, is the one who's going to say something. And the, and the birds, of course, are going to listen because the frog is going to talk to, to them. What is the frog going to say? I bet the frog wants to tell them, be kind, right? He can say, please be kind. You are being very, very mean. Please be kind. There's only three words, right? But they make such a huge difference when you're kind. Um, if, if if the birds if the birds were kind, maybe Toad didn't didn't feel the way he felt. He felt very very sad because he thought he he couldn't do it. So a frog, Toad's friend, he's gonna go and talk to the birds. Please be kind. Don't be mean to poor Toad. Toad just wanna fly his kite. Alright, if you want to color your frog and your birds, of course you can do it. 
just make sure you you add the speech bubble this is a speech bubble it means it's next to frog because it means that that's what frog said all right i think it's time to turn the page now boys and girls so let's see what we have on the other side do not forget i also need your name on this page every um i need your name on every single page all right let's see what we have to do here we're gonna read pages 94 and one through 101 now we're gonna draw a cartoon show what frog might say to the robins at the end of the story so let's see what did what did um what did frog might say to the robins at the end of the story let me see let's go get the book let me go grab the book again and now we're gonna look for page 94 through 101 so this is page 94 i want you to think okay what frog might say to the robins now at the end of the story hmm. it says toad ran back to frog as he's still running back to frog because he has to tell frog what the birds just told him this kite is a joke he said it will never get off the ground don't forget that this is not what um toad thinks this is what the birds told him we have to make a third try said frog so this is frog right here wave the kite over your head and jump up and down perhaps that will make it fly so here we go with toad toad is gonna try something new besides running besides waving the kite now he's going to jump up and down toad ran across the meadow again he waved the kite over his head he jumped up and down the kite went up in the air and crashed down into the grass. Oh my goodness. I bet that broke Toad's heart again. That kite is junk, said the Robins. Of course, he had to be the Robins. Throw it away and go home. Toad ran back to Frog. This kite is junk, he said. I think we should throw it away and go home. Ah, but Toad forgot to say, that's not what he thinks. That's what the birds think. That's what the robins think. I bet Toad doesn't think that the kite is trash. Mm -mm, no way. Toad said frog, we need one more try. Wave the kite over your head. Jump up and down and shout, up, kite, up. Toad ran across the meadow. He waved the kite over his head. He jumped up and down. He shouted, up, kite, up. Oh my goodness, let's see if it works now. The kite flew into the air. It climbed higher and higher. And you can see right there. We did it, cried Toad. Yes, said Frog. If a running try did not work, a running and waving try did not work, and a running, waving, and jumping try did not work, I knew that a running, waving, jumping, and shouting try just had to work. So there are no pictures on this page, but we can see the guy flying very, very, very high. high. That was David. David. Okay, and look at them. Look at them flying their Kai now. So boys and girls, if Toad could go back and talk and talk to the robins, the robins are not on the floor anymore. The robins are flying over here. We can see them right there, but. If Frog could go and talk to them, what do you think that um, Frog will say to the birds? Well, I would tell them never, never, ever underestimate anyone, right? Because you, you see, the birds were underestimating Toad and the kite. And look what happened to the kite. You can see the kite flying higher than the birds. Huh. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw a frog again. Do you remember how it went? 
we draw this is an, a, a different page don't forget this is page 190 now and uh, now it's the end of the story we're gonna focus at the end of the story what happens if frog could go and talk to the robins at the end of the story what would he say now that the kite is flying okay que diría frog que le diría frog a esos pájaros que no le, cre no le querían creer que su papalote si sí servía y que era bueno que le diría vamos a ver pues yo le diría me están uh, underestimating me están como uh, devaluando como como no están creyendo en lo que lo que yo puedo hacer verdad all right so once again this is the mouth so you see uh, that's the head, I'm sorry. I did the eyes and then a line between the eyes and then a line over here. Now my face needs nose and then it needs a mouth. All right, and I'm going to draw the arms now. It's going to be the front arms. Oh, that arm came off so skinny. All right, so that's the belly. And now we're going to do the back legs with the toads right all right so that's frog and now we have to make another bubble right another speech bubble uh another speech bubble because frog is gonna talk to the robins again another speech bubbles another well it's only one so speech bubble one speech bubble and now we have to draw the birds again. Don't forget for the birds we draw an oval. And now um, I'm going to put the beak, the eyes, and I'm trying to see if these wings come better. Not quite. I was trying to experiment with the wings to see if they could come out better than the last time. And I thought I was good at drawing birds. Oh, silly me. Birds are really, really hard. Alright. Oh, and I'm right here at the end. Alright, so this is what I have. I have my three robins. And I have Frog here. He's going to he's going to to talk to the robins one more time one more time at the end of the story it didn't happen in the story it didn't happen in the story because as you can see here's toad and frog and they're together flying the kite and the birds are over there but we are going to pretend it happened so boys and girls what do you think that frog is going to tell the robins hmm <laughs> I will ask them, what do you think now? What do you think of the kite now? Huh? It can fly higher than you, right? But no, we don't want frog to be mean to the birds. We want frog to remind the birds that um, not only that they have to be kind, because here, do you remember? Here they, they told the, he told the, the birds, please be kind. So now he can tell them, do not. I know this is kind of a fancy word. Do not underestimate. Underestimate others. And that's what many, many people do. For some reason, uh, it's very easy to underestimate others. To think less of other people. To think that they are less capable. Um, but it's, it's not good to underestimate others. Do not underestimate others. All right, boys and girls. So don't forget, you can pause the video. This is this is the only thing on this page. You can pause the video and then you can continue after you're done with the picture. Pueden pausar el video y luego continuar cuando hayan terminado con sus dibujos. Of course, you can color your pictures as well. También pueden colorear sus, sus dibujos. Don't forget, do not color the bubble so I can I can see what you wrote. No coloreen dentro del speech bubble para que yo pueda ver lo que han escrito. All right, boys and girls, and this is our last page for reading for today. We're going to do a little bit of um, ABC order. All right, let me see. And I didn't bring my, my alphabet. It's all right. Okay, boys and girls, um, you go ahead and you write your name and also your last name. You make sure you are on page 191. 
Call High Boys and Girls, make sure you're on page 191. Do not forget your name must be at the beginning or at the um must be at the top. You can write it now at the beginning or you can write it at the end. It's up to you. But at some point I need your name there. Before you collect um before you submit your packet, you must have your name there. Every page must have your name. Boys and girls, we're gonna do spelling words with the pattern I G H Y N I E. I'm putting my book away. This is the pattern once again. I G H Y and I has the long I vowel, which is I. So let's go ahead and read the words. The spelling words are mm, I, my, ter, ter, I, dry, sk, I, sk, I, sky, fl, I, fl, I, fly. B I buy another blend at the beginning. Dr I Dr I. So in all of these words, boys and girls, you can see that in all of these words, the Y at the end is saying why, 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 why. I'm sorry, no why. I I I I I I like I I I like it hurts, right? My try sky fly by and dry. So why is responsible for that long I vowel sound? All right, let's continue reading. Then we have p, i, and cr, id. So here's not why the responsible for that long I sound. Here's i e. I e are the ones that say i. P, i, cr, id. And then we have another another rule, another pattern uh, for the long i, i g h. I G H N I T I G H says I N I T and L I T light night and light and these can be together to make a compound word night light. All right, boys and girls. So what we're gonna do here is that our our words word um were broken apart into two groups, and what we're gonna do here we're gonna put each group in alphabetical order. I'm gonna do um, I'm going to do the first, the first, um, the first one, and um, maybe you could try to do the second one on your own. All right. All right. So let's do it. Let's see. Here we go. Don't forget that our first letter of the alphabet is letter A. I, I left the alphabet over there. I'm sorry, boys and girls. I'm gonna run to get my alphabet, and I'll be back in just a second. All right, I'm going to leave the camera here. It's going to be black for just a couple seconds. Oh, sorry about that, but I got my alphabet. Yay. Okay, because it's really, really hard for you to do the alphabet. Um, to, to, to put words in alphabetical order without being able to see them. I'm sorry. All right. So here we go. Um, these are, this is the first group of words that we're going to put in alphabetical order. So we have my, suck, I, b, I, ter, I, and full, I. Now, what are, what, what do these words have in common? What these words have in common, boys and girls, is the, is the vowel sound. Right? All of them say I, but why? Because of the same vowel pattern, because of the same uh, spelling pattern, right? Um, why, 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 why at the end? At the end of the word, um, sometimes the Y says I, the, the long I sound. Um, so let's take a look at the alphabet, boys and girls, and let's see. Here's our alphabet, and we're going to see um, what, what begins with A. Do we have any word that begins with A? Any word that begins with A? No, so we leave A alone behind and we move down to B. B, anywhere that begins with B. B, anything that begins with B. Oh, I found it. Bye. All right, so bye is going to be my first word. Bye is going to be the first one. And you can cross it out if you want to because you already use it. Bye. And when you say, oh, this book was written by Arnold Lovell, which is the author for this um, week's story. All right, so after B goes C. C. 
Do you see any word that begins with letter C? No? We leave C behind. After C goes D. Anything that begins with D? No? After D goes E. Anything that begins with letter E? No. After E goes F. Anything that begins with letter F? Letter F. Oh, fly begins with letter F. It's right here. Fly. Fly comienza con la letter F. Fly. Don't forget, Y is the one that says I. All right. We cross out. We exhale. Fly. And we only have three more words left. All right. After F goes G. G. Do you see anything that begins with G? No. After G goes H. Anything that begins with H? No, no H. How about I? Do we have anywhere that begins with letter I? No, no I. How about J? J is right here next to I after I goes J. Anything that begins with J? No. How about K? I'm going in alphabetical order. All right, nothing begins with K. After K goes L. Anything that begins with L. M, S, T. No. M. Do you see anywhere that begins with M? M was the next letter. <gasps> My begins with M. So don't forget, this is fly. F, L, Y, fly. And then comes My. My. Let me see if I can... Um, I know this pencil is kind of light and with the light of the camera it makes it harder for you to see so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna cross out my and I only have two more words left now when you come down to two words it's easier boys and girls look at them instead of going letter by letter instead of continuing letter by letter do this you say well sky begins with letter S and you can even circle it so you can see it and then try begins with letter T. How do I know which word goes first, sky or try? Super easy. You wanna know, you wanna find out what letter goes first in the alphabet, S or T. And let's take a look at the alphabet one more time. What letter comes first in the alphabet? S or T. S comes first in the alphabet, right? S comes right before T. So the word that begins with S must come before than the word that begins with T. The word that begins with S is sky. S I. And finally, my last word, boys and girls, is going to be try. Don't forget, all of these words, they have something in common. What they have in common is that Y, um, y consonant that says I at the end of the word. By, fly, my, sky, and try. Now, let's read together the rest of the spelling words. We have dry one more time because we also had dry over here oh no no it wasn't there dry cried light pie and night as you can see most of them are different like this one has the same vowel vowel pair as um i e i e and this one i g h i g h so i e says i i e p i i e says i and i g h I G H also says I like in l it and n it. Now let's. I'm gonna put the alphabet boys and girls so you can see it. Once again, you're going to begin one with your list to see if you can find any word that begins with the first letter. If you see any word that begins with letter A, then letter B. You're gonna do all of them. I'm gonna get the, the screen. I'm I'm trying to to keep the the alphabet on the screen so you can see it. And then you can do the last list on your own. Esta es la última lista. Quiero que ustedes la hagan solitos con el alfabeto, que lo voy a poner aquí. Piensen, háganlo solitos. There's only five words, okay? I want you to do it on your own. I want you to do it on your own, boys and girls. Quiero que lo hagan solito. Aquí está el alfabeto. Aquí está el alfabeto y vamos a, vamos a tra hacerlo solito. All right, boys and girls, and don't forget, when you finish with this page, you are done for today with, um, with your reading lessons, but you still have to come back for math. 
All right. Um, I also need you to remember to do a little bit, do a little bit of I ready every day. 10 to 15 minutes is enough every single day. Cada día me hacen un poquito de I ready. And uh, also you have a spelling city. You have one activity per day. Tienen una actividad para cada día de la semana in a spelling city. Don't forget to do that as well. Well, boys and girls, I'll see you later for math. Bye.